that we look at this. This is what we do. I put that up. Man. Yeah, you go. You, you I'll put it up. Yeah, you. Thank you. I don't know if everybody can see that back there. Thanks, John. The Avenger. Well, we're talking about, because God, I was going to start out with this, but God had it to go another way. Amen? Because sometimes you can't really focus, you can't really focus on stuff, a lot of stuff bothering your mind. So God had to clear that through prayer, get us to where we can we can focus. All right? Not going to be long. But this is, this is says, when all hell breaks loose. All right? This is like hell breaking loose on you, all the fire and all the brimstone and everything, and when it attacks your house. Anybody ever had all hell break loose in your house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Avenger. <clears throat> How about in your marriage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that probably don't happen in San Diego. That probably don't happen <laughs> in Omaha. That probably don't happen over here. How about your cars? Mm -hmm. Ever had car problems? Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, every time you get something fixed, something else breaks. Mm -hmm. You might just go ahead and then take a find a cliff and push it off. That's what you feel like sometimes, but you don't want to do that. Amen. Ministry. You ever had? It seemed like all hell had broken loose in your ministry. Mm -hmm. You ever had what's called eeps to attack your ministry? Mm -hmm. Anybody know what eeps are? Mm -hmm. Eeps. No, no, no. E e p s. Eeps. Eeps. <laughs> you, you <don't> <laughs> yeah. No, 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 okay. no. A uh, eep, uh, eeps are are people that they come to your church. They want to be in key positions in the church. Mm -hmm. They want to be trustees. They want to be head deacon. They want they want to be the head fireman. They want to be everything of a key position. Only problem with that, it's okay, I guess, if they, if they could do the job. Only problem with that is they come with no resume. You don't know where they come from. Mm -hmm. And equal will, EEP will try, <laughs> somebody's <laughs> identifying with you. Uh, EEP will catch you in your most vulnerable place when you need a bus driver. Oh, I tried the bus for the church. When you need a head deacon. Oh, I'll deacon a little bit. What does deep mean then? <laughs> I don't know what deep means, but I do it. No resume, no piece of paper, no nothing. Okay? They will come, they will be, they only want to be the head of the church. They only want to be the head of the church. Here's how you can test to see if they're real. If they're really sent from God. Call a prayer meeting, they never come. Mm. Uh -oh. Eep will never come to prayer meeting. He'll never come. And Eep will have all kind of sexual issues and want to keep that position where there's, there's sexual issues but don't want you to say nothing about those unmarried sex issues. That's an eep. They don't have those here. There's a lot of them in California. <laughs> now, eep will not, he will not allow you to have a, a fundraiser or what they call them when the church is trying to get money, a uh, church building fund. Mm -hmm. uh, eep will fight every church building fund unless they can control the money. Ooh. That's an eep. And eep will split your church. They will split your church clean down the middle unless you grab them like that thing, that napkin, and pull them to the side and say, I know what you are. You're an eep. God didn't send you. You came in from the pits of hell. You got to go. Matter of fact, before you go, let's go down to the altar and try to get you really good and saved. Mm -hmm. And see how fast they run. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody ever heard of such a thing? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Ever had a person that come? You don't know where they come from. They, they come to your ministry, and all along they're gossiping. They're doing everything they can do to tear your ministry down. That's an E. Mm -hmm. Maybe they only do that in Philadelphia. Maybe they don't do that over here. <laughs> Trust me, you will run into a eep if you're in ministry. It's just a matter of time. You will. Anybody ever have people that stuck with you for a few minutes and look like you scratch your head backwards and they left? Over the smallest thing? Come on, be mm -hmm. honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are eeps. Yeah. They ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They're not filled with nothing but the demonic realm. 
there will come and they will try to stop. Every time you try to do something right, an evil will try to come. And as I was sitting here and God was speaking to me, he said, son, there's some eeps in some of these ministries right now. There's, a, there's at least two or three eeps in some of these ministries that's represented here tonight. And God get tell me, just to y'all lift your hand, I'm just going to pray that God will move these people out of your ministry. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Unless y'all want them to stay, I'm going to pray. Y'all want y'all like them to stay there and cause problems, and we won't leave them alone. I'll get moved to the next one. <laughs> I ain't going gonna, I, I ain't gonna to pray for something that you like. He <laughs> said, Brother Earthquake, Brother Earthquake, why did you pray that I like that person? <laughs> now they got to leave, Brother Earthquake. Why? 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 But if you want them to leave, Trust me, my wife and I, we've had to deal with it. Okay, so, Father, move them. Send them, Father, away from these great ministries and churches. Send them away. Don't let them come back. Mm -hmm. Let them get saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Let them sit down and be taught. They can't get no position in the church, and nobody know who they are. Nobody know mm -hmm. where they come from. Nobody know nothing about them. All of a sudden, they get show up. God, they have to pr follow protocol. Mm -hmm. And if they don't want to do it, God, please just move them along, God, out of these ministries. Amen, y'all? Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Ministry, money. Anybody ever had money one minute and the next minute? <laughs> seems like it's all gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the Avenger. They said, why you draw that earthquake? Have you seen it? I've seen that spot all of them. With his little pitchfork, he'll stick stuff in your stuff and pull it out like you're picking barbecue off a barbecue grill. Mm. That best piece you want to eat, too. <laughs> You've you been making barbecue, and, it, and it's getting ready to get real good, and all of a sudden, you miss it, and it falls down in the fire. <laughs> 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 You want to take it, Pastor? You want to take that with all that, that burnt stuff on it, that, that chart? You know what I'm talking about? You want to take it and get dusted off? <laughs> Put it in your pocket for later. Ain't nobody, nobody can see it. Put it in your pocket. Say it. Because it's good. It got that little piece of fat on it, too. And it's just juicy real good. Uh, be like the women John. He cooked. Now, he cooked. He cooked. That's Wow. If it fall on the floor, it's like you fall on the floor and then the dog gets you like you want to fight the dog for it. <laughs> he growling, you growling too. Hey, <laughs> you, you trying to grab it, he trying to grab it too. Oh, man. <laughs> money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody ever had more money, more month at the end of the money? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're like California. Everybody rich out here. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the avenger attacking you. So you rebuke the enemy. The Bible says you rebuke the enemy. See, mm -hmm. it says enemy, right? And what? The, the avenger. You rebuke the enemy. He freed the avenger. He never even talked to. So he said, there, just pick your pocket like a New York pocket, pick, pick it, pocket, pocket person. <laughs> just pick in your pocket. Just pick in your pocket and whisper to you at the same time. God don't want you to have nothing. He don't want you to have nothing. Blame it on God. He's the one. Why he ain't bless you now? Why he ain't blessed you by now? You've been, you've been saved for six weeks, and God should have been made you a millionaire. Who hmm. told you God's going to make you a millionaire in six weeks? I'm not saying he can't do it, but don't get mad at God. I'm talking to somebody. Anybody ever been mad at God? Be honest. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been mad at God? Raise yes, your hand. Be honest. Mm -hmm. You're mad at God. It's mm -hmm. the avenger. Mm -hmm. God's not going to do nothing bad to you. Mm -hmm. If he wanted to, he could have been hurt you a long time ago. Trust me, he could have been hurt us. Children, anybody ever had children go contrary mm -hmm. on drugs? Mm -hmm. Nobody's, nobody's mm -hmm. children takes drugs in Omaha, I'm quite sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The health. <laughs> anybody ever, thank God, anybody ever have health problems? I know I have. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You was doing real good, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you just got sick out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Some might be dealing with sickness right now. You're dealing with sickness, be honest. You're dealing with a sickness, been to the doctor, and the doctor said, I don't know what's wrong with you. Mm -hmm. The doctor said, I don't know what's wrong with you, and I'm so sure, I'm sure happy I don't have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy I ain't catch it. 
We're going to deal with that. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Let me tell you something. The, 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 the importance of a peace of mind is that you, you're doing real good. You're enjoying life. You're praising God. You're getting soul saved everywhere. All of a sudden, it seems like you get into a state of depression. Tries to get on your mind. If something is wrong, I just don't know what it is. I, something is wrong. I see my, my mind is just bad. I see my something is squeezing my brain. I'm having a hard time. I'm calling people for help. And none of my friends will answer the phone. Mm. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that avenging spirit. He wants to try to mess with your mind to make you feel like something is wrong, even though nothing is wrong. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He who keepeth his mind on him, he will do what? Keep you in what? Perfect, Perfect peace. peace. But if you start going off, then what happens, write this down in your notes. The avenger has something that's called a wimple spirit. You know what a wimple spirit is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A wimple spirit is found in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the third chapter. Let me show you something. I'm going fast. I can't. I don't want to keep going too long. A wimple spirit is something that will hide. A wimple spirit was something will hide. If you got your keys, you're getting ready to go somewhere important, and you set your keys down on the table. Mm -hmm. Right? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You set your keys on the table. You turn around and go get your apple or something. You come back, your keys completely gone. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's called a wimple spirit. I thought it was a pimple. No, not a pimple. That's, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's another time. Can't find my glasses. That's right. Happened to you, huh? Last couple of days? What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Okay, we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with it. I'm going to tell you why it attacks you. It's, it works with the Avenger. Mm. You, you, you had your important papers. You got to go and, and, and your tax papers or your court papers. You set your papers down. You go down there and flip over your uh, 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 something, pizza, pizza or something. You come back, paper's gone. Nobody see them. Mm -hmm. Right? That's a wimple. I'm going to show you. It's a weapon. It's a tool. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you. Let's go to Isaiah. Get Isaiah. How much time we got? I don't want to keep you out too late. I got about 10 more minutes. Can I get 10 more minutes? Who give me 10? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. 10. Okay, 15. good. You got 15. Okay, 15. Thank you. <laughs> okay, 15. That's great. Okay. The Wimple. Let's go to Isaiah 3. 3. 22. No, 322. Isaiah 322. Let me show you something here. You got to watch what you say when your papers are missing. <clears throat> Please watch what you say. I'm going to tell you the reason why in a minute. Don't say anything come to your mind, especially this. I must be losing my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I'm, it's a weapon that he uses your own mouth against you. I must be losing my mind. I know I just set them keys right there on that table. I knew I just put my eyeglasses right there. I knew I just put my business paper there, my tax papers there. And I turn it around to go and come back less than five minutes, it's completely gone. It's a weapon called a wimple. It's a wimple spear. Somebody read that. Hmm. The changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pen. Mm -hmm. A wimple. A wimple. That's when people, it's talking about people getting dressed and everything like that. I don't have time to explain all of it. But in the demonic realm, a wimple is a spirit about, it's about yay big like this. Trust me, I've seen them being in that realm before I got saved. They're about this big. And, they're, and the Disney made a movie about them called the, uh, years ago, years ago Disney made a movie about they them. They got wet and they go real bad. They're little creatures. No, no, not that, not the, uh, yeah, don't keep on with that, not, the, not those, those bad too. But there was another one that, that they would come in your house, they would take your stuff and hide it down in the crack of your, your, your house. And Disney know about that, Disney's a bunch of bad people. They are, yes they are. Uh -huh. Yes they are. Really bad. So, don't say this, please don't say this, because the Wimple and the Avenger will work together. Based on what you say, if you say, I must be losing, I'm losing my mind. Every time I get something, I'm losing my mind. You open the door for the weapon of the wimple to start eating at your brain cells. Amen? Amen. Amen. We were teaching in Yakima, Washington, my wife and I, like a two-week revival. It was up in Yakima, Washington, not far from the Yakima, Washington Indian Reservation. We were there teaching. 
And we were teaching about the wimple and about not to say stuff out your mouth and something come up missing. Don't say I'm using, losing my mind. Don't say that. Don't say that. Because that's what they want to hear you say. Because it's all, you're giving a place to him. He can operate in your brain. He walk right down you and start walking into your head and start messing with stuff because I'm losing. You confess it. You guess that? You guess confess. I'm losing my mind. Don't confess that. No. So I got the mind of Christ and me greater. See that's in me. My mind is a mind of Christ. And you bring my stuff back here. Mm -hmm. Now watch this real quick. So... <laughs> We were teaching that, so we went to the pastor's house. We had dinner. We had dinner. We had dinner. We were sitting there, and, and I was eating the apple. And uh, the, the, there was a lady. She had a little baby, by yay big, you know, and had a heart problem. Heart didn't beat all the way through. And so she uh, 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 had put a monitor, and you put the monitor on the baby's neck or something like that, and then you you put the other part outside. And you can hear if the baby stopped breathing. Mm -hmm. So she went in there to check the baby, see if the baby was okay. And she went in and she came back. She said, the, the baby's monitor is missing. The baby's monitor is missing. Uh, earthquake, earthquake, the baby's monitor is missing. What did you say about that? But that wimple spirit, he, he took my, he said, come in here, rebuke it. I said, no, mm -mm. Nope, I won't do it. I'm not, I'll eat my apple. Mm -hmm. I said, nope, I ain't coming in there and rebuking nothing. How long I been here? Two weeks. I said, Yankee, did I taught you about the wimple? Mm -hmm. I said, you go in there, you do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be here forever. You do it. I said, I don't mind, but you need to take the initiative. And she about yay tall. She went in there, a little bit of petite thing. She said, you wimple spirit. But wait, though. Everybody went in there. The mother, the husband, the grandmother, grandfather. Emma, they all tearing the room apart, looking for that little monitor thing. Tearing it apart. And, and turning up the mattress, baby mattress, box spring, shaking stuff out. No, no monitor. I'm like that. Mm -hmm. I said, that's the wimple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just standing there, I'm just waiting. And she said, you little wimple demon, put it back. And they all came out. They were like, oh, I don't know what to do. They went back on there, and the thing was in there right with the baby. Mm -hmm. Right there with the baby. We were living in New York, right by Albany, up there, uh, uh, that place we lived there. And my wife had missed one of her rings, one of her, I think, wedding band or, or something like that. And... Uh, same thing, tearing the house up, trying to find it, trying to find it. I wouldn't eat, eat no apple at that time. I'll get sitting back up there. <laughs> and my wife said, babe, I can't find my ring. Then my, my son, he was about eight or nine years old. He said, mommy, have you rebuked that whipple spirit? Took the mattress and took everything, the ring gone. She rebuked that whipple spirit. And right on top of the mattress, right in the middle, was the ring. Made that demon put that thing right back. Mm -hmm. Don't say I'm losing your, my mind. If you say I must be or I am losing my mind, you're giving ground to the enemy to walk down inside your head. Now, has anybody had a problem with stuff missing here lately? Be honest, raise your hand. Anyone? Have you dealt with the whipple according to what the word of God says or have you got frustrated to the point that you almost felt like you're losing your mind? Be honest. Frustrated. Frustrated. Mm -hmm. Now you know what to do. Mm -hmm. You don't let that little hobgoblin. It's a hobgoblin, seriously. You don't let no hobgoblin take your stuff and run off with it. But what it's trying to do is trying to get something to come out of your mouth. He's trying to make you confess failure in your head. In your head. I think a lot of people will be further along if every time something bad happens to them, they say, well, I'll be D. You know what I'm talking about? The four mm -hmm. letters? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Bruh, you mm -hmm. con you condemning yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. There is a Christian term for that. Well, I'll be darned. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And, and explain to us, what is, what is that, darned? That's damn. That's the only Christian that's what saying. That's what I'm trying to say. That's trying to fix it real good. <laughs> and it's the pretty much the same thing. But let's just be dealing with that. How many of us are saying that even lately? Mm -hmm. Something bad happened. It's on me. It's not on this. It's not on that. It's on me. I'm the one with the problem. So after a while, it's going to be piling up, piling up, piling up. You, your head going to be big as a pumpkin after a while. Your head going to be full of stuff. And the enemy going to be laughing. Now, let's take it one step further. In the last year, the last year, is how the Avenger works. How many of us has cursed last year and said F or S? Be honest. Raise your hand. F or S? F or S. Be honest. 
cursing. My next question is, when you say that, are you saying just a regular word? It's not no big deal. Or is that a name of a spirit? Hmm? I'm going to tell them, okay, Pastor? That's the name of a spirit. Every time you say, every time you say, F this or S that, what happens? The ground opens up, and a Nemo cycle comes out, and it comes right to you. A spirit comes right to you. Every time you curse, I ask the question, anybody curse this year? Say so F or S this year. Come on, stand up this series. I'm going to, we're going to get rid of this tonight. Amen. I know you said I got 15 minutes. I got 10 minutes. If you curse, if you curse, you got to get rid of it. See, the reason why you come down in front if you want, you got to get rid of this. Because here's the thing if we get rid of the Avenger, mm -hmm. Pastor, we get rid of the Avenger and they curse and cursing, he'll come right back. Mm -hmm. He'll come right back. Him, you, you, you chase him away for a few minutes. You, and you curse at something, you get real mad and you curse, he's coming right back. And guess what? He, he, he got a shopping list with him because he's out there, I'll take this. Mm -hmm. I'll take them shoes. I'll take them shoes, yeah. Yeah. Health? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the health too. Mm -hmm. You cursing real good? Yeah, I'm going to come after your children after a while. And you know, I got most of your money, so I'm going to I'm, I, I'm get the rest of the money. I got the M.O. part, but now I'm going after the knee part. <laughs> <laughs> I got mo. <laughs> I just need the knee part. Need mo money. Yeah, I need mo. Yeah, <laughs> mo money. Mo money. <laughs> so there's some more you curse. You love me, money. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what happens every time you curse? Anybody? What was the question? Do you know what happens every time a person curses? That's why Peter cursed when he was Jesus. He was Jesus, Jesus when he go to the cross, and they said you was with Jesus. Down so and so blank the blank blank I was and, and, the, and the rooster and the crows to the, yeah he was, what he was doing he was letting people know that that no 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 I ain't with him I cuss mm -hmm. and they said nobody talk like that could be with with him uh uh yeah. see what happens Proverbs five and five real fast Proverbs five and five somebody get Proverbs five and five real fast <laughs> for me get that real quick because you need to write a calendar you're holding that's too long so I don't want to hold you too long I want you to come back and invite me back again amen but this is very important. Proverbs 5 and 5 talks about there's a staircase. Like that staircase right there, there's an actual staircase in hell. And if you curse, the spirits come up that steps. Uh, mm. Every time you curse, every time you curse, you say F and S, what's F? Here's what happens. Every time you curse, here's what happens. They, go, they come up the steps and run into your house. Mm. 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 It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Read Proverbs 5 and 5. Watch it. Her and feet, witches know this. Witches know it. They love this. Witches love this. Oh, her boy. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold of the, on hell. You see that? Watch, let me explain let me it before you, let me, let me, before you read it again. What happens? You go to a psychic. The psychic, oh. she's in there. She grabs your hand. The Bible calls it muddle. They stop. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. You don't know it. She leaves her body. She goes down to a step. The steps. She goes down the step. At the bottom of the step, there's death himself. And she says, what do you want me to do to this person? You want me to, you want me to, to fix it so she can die? Fix, fix it so she can die. Mm -hmm. And the deaf would tell her, no, don't fix her to die. I want her whole entire family. Mm -hmm. oh. Take down the step. It's, it's not in the Bible. It's right there. Do, do you all see this? It's right there in the Bible. There's a staircase that only comes up through two ways. To psychics bring it up or you can curse the spirits up the steps. So every time you curse, you are conjuring up spirits, come up the staircase. And I was in Orange County, California, preaching this in Orange County, California. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was talking about this, and a lady said, I went to a house. I thought it was a regular age. She wanted to be a witch. And she said, in the middle of the night, I could hear something crawling up the steps, okay? What was wrong with that? Anybody know what was wrong with that? No, no steps. She didn't have no steps. Oh, my God. Mm. That's a one level house. Mm -hmm. She said, earthquake. People need to know this, not to, not to be cursing and stuff. She said, I hear something coming up the steps. The lady was only at one level. Huh. You got to stop cussing. The Avenger knows that. <clears throat> I need some ice in here, please. Somebody give it. Got some ice down here. You need to stop cursing. And I'm talking to somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. If that's you, you need to come down to the altar. I just want to, I just want to put some, some oil on your finger and symbolically, you put this on your own tongue. <laughs> he said, that's crazy earthquake. Jesus spit on the ground and, 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 and made some clay. At least this ain't so bit, brother. Brother Pastor, this not so bit. <laughs> symbolically, put this on your tongue because this is dangerous. You got it, right? Who else? Anybody cussing? That's not bad. So. <laughs> yeah, you might as well make, protect yourself. Ooh. You don't trust me. Taste it. Mm. Uh, you know, sometimes you hit your foot with something, and you know, it just kind of comes out. And... Mm. Yeah, but when it comes out, it comes up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that now. <laughs> you just. Now I know. It comes out, and it comes up. Yes, sir. There is a really cute child's movie called Monster Inc. that talks about the steps. Thank you. With that one eye thing, the big thing, and the one with the little. Mm -hmm. But it's cute. Right. And it's so cute. It just cap cap captures everybody. Mm -hmm. Disney. They're pretty good, aren't they? Pixar and Disney. Mm -hmm. They team up. Mm -hmm. They know that most of Christians. Yeah, they know. They, they know, know it's real. They, they started way back in the day with the, the, the Sorcerer's Apprentice and all that stuff. They know. They they know. know. Yeah. All of that. Mm -hmm. Why y'all sit down? Why y'all sit down? We oh. don't pray. Oh, okay. Still got the oil. Oh. We ain't pray. Is it? Brother Kelly, I got the oil. Can I sit down? <laughs> sit down. Yeah, this, this is this is serious, y'all. This is real serious because this spirit. I'm telling you, when I was my grandmother was a sorceress. My grandmother, mm -hmm. my father was into Papa Doc, which that my grandmother, my mother's side was a sorceress. I saw her. She was in an argument with a guy. It was going at it and going at it and going out. I was eight years old. And she, she did what's called the devil silhouette, which I will not do. Mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to learn nothing. She did what's called the devil silhouette. I'm going to use my elbow. <laughs> and she pointed out, she did the same thing the girl did to the guy in the color purple. She said, mm -hmm. what's the, you remember, did you remember the color purple? Yeah. She turned in the yellow car. She said, what's happening to me? going to be happening to you. I guess a little while. Mm -hmm. She did the same thing. The man fell over backwards, held his heart. Uh, he was gone. Mm -hmm. I said, what power, what power, what power? And I got those books upstairs. If John, we get those books, I, 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 I want to talk about the books in a minute before we cut off. And I said, what power? What power? I wish I had that same kind of power. And I, and, and I said, wow. And she said, F. She said, I call F to come. <laughs> Sorry. I call F to come and destroy your life. Then the man said, ah. boom, right on the ground. He did not move with his hand over his heart. He gave him a heart attack and died right there on the sidewalk. And I said, what power, what power? So every time you say F, you're conjuring up that same spirit my grandmother sent on that man that killed him. Mm. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So I said, I want that same power. And when I said that F, come and take over my life, I want that power. I want to be able to do that same thing to people. And the ground opened up, and a little tornado, a Nima cycle came out, went inside of me, started spinning, started spinning, mm -hmm. and, and I was tormented that whole day. I was, that night, that night, I'm telling you, I was laying down there, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I heard something say, ha, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. I opened up my eyes, and here's this big old green, tall thing with wings, and he said, my name is F, you call mm -hmm. me, welcome to witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Every time you curse, you are entering in, thank you, to a witchcraft realm. And the bad thing about it, you're bringing your children and your husband and your, your family in with you. And they are being afflicted, not cursed, afflicted because you allow this to come through your mouth and the avenger knows it. And I'm talking to somebody I need to stop. Do you want to stop or do you want to continue to let these things come up that staircase on you? You wonder why your blessings are taken? Because the, uh, good good words and bad mouth cannot come out. Uh, words cannot come out the same fountain. That's Jesus right. says so. Mm -hmm. You can't. Amen. You cannot because it'll nullify your blessing. It'll nullify it because that spirit he comes hungry. He wants to steal stuff from you. He wants to. The avenger sets it up for him, and then they work together on you. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta stop cussing. Mm -hmm. Let your words be few and what seasoned with what. Do they have that scripture here in, 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 in oh, oh, oh my. I'm going to say it again. Let your words be few. And Paul said, and seasoned with what? Salt. 
No. Grace. Excuse me. Do I have to get down on my knees and ask on the stage? Grace. 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 Let your words be few and seasoned with grace. Don't get so mad that you cuss because you're not saying a word. You're conjuring up a spirit. And if you cuss four times a day, that's four spirits. Mm -hmm. That's four coming up the steps. You cuss eight times, that's eight. And they come up mad. They come up mad because they know there's seven different levels of, of rage. This is spirit of this. F is the spirit of rage. There's seven different levels of rage, and some people have all seven levels in their house. Mm. Mm. Wonder why there's no peace there, and the Avengers sitting up laughing. He said, good, I ain't got to fight you. I'll let you fight yourself through lack of knowledge. I'll preach you real good to somebody to be saying something right here. Come on, y'all. Let's get this out of us. No, I mean, you got to say amen enough. I'm just saying, let's get this out of this. Amen. Let's get this out of the body of Christ, y'all. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Cussing like a sailor and not even know what's going to happen every time you cuss. If you cuss a hundred times a month, you got a hundred of these spirits <coughs> in your dwelling, in your presence. I've seen it with my own eyes when I was into sorcery. I've seen them. I've seen them. I know what they can do. Come on, come on down to the front. I need to just grab everybody by the hand. Let's just pray this thing out of here. May I please, if you're dealing with this, let's stand together. I ain't got no miracles in my hands except what God Amen. gave me. Ain't no, I ain't dealing with nothing. But what Jesus said, we're going to pray this thing. Give me us touch and agree, okay? Amen. Amen. My hands are big enough to grab everybody's hands. Okay? Amen. Anybody else want to come? And just come on up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amen. This is, this, this is real Thank stuff. Real. And it's time to get this Avenger off of us. And God, you touch your tongue. God put that, um, he put that hot coals on whose mouth? He put that on in the Old Testament. Of, 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 he put that, thank you, he put that hot coals on his tongue. You symbolically did that to seal your mouth from cussing from here on out. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we shut that door in the name of Jesus. That step is the door at the top of the staircase, and now we're not going to cuss no more. Matter of fact, we need to repent. Yes. God, come and tell me to repent. Yes. Come on, let's repent it. Yes. Brother, because you can tell me to yes. repent. God telling you to repent. Please do it. She bowed it down. God, forgive us all. I don't cuss as a rule. I don't do that at all. But God, did forgive me if I didn't tell enough people of it. Yes, Lord. Father, come on, y'all not repent. Only one person is saying Jesus. something to God. Come on, repent Thank for this. You, Jesus. Oh, it's what you're doing. What you repent. The devil can't come. He can't come and do this because you don't close Thank the door you, yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Father, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, fill us with the Holy Ghost to the point that where we don't cuss no more. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, Hallelujah. every last one of those spirits of F and S, Thank S is Jesus. fear. Mm -hmm. F is rage. And S brings on fear. Every time a gang member knows he's getting ready to get shot, you always say O S. Am I talking to somebody? Thank you, Jesus. Am I talking here to somebody? Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. God, in the name of Jesus, let your power fall right now as the day of Pentecost. Clean up your people, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Clean our mouths right now, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wash us from the crown of our head yes. down to the soles of our feet Thank that we don't Jesus. let these things, they're not words, these things, God, yes, Lord. come you, out of our mouth no more that the adventure takes advantage of us. Thank you. That we don't do this, God. Let us pray to the point that where nothing but your, your words of grace come out of our Thank mouth. You, yes, Lord. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost yes. be inside of us. The Holy Ghost never curses at any time. Thank you, Jesus. He will not say F or S. He will not. He will not say that. And so, Father, clean us, forgive us, God, from letting that come out. Evil come out of our mouth, the same mouth that the Holy Spirit uses, the enemy is used us. Uh uh. No, no, y'all, come on. Thank you, Jesus. No more. No more avenger. Avenger spirit, you and all your hobgoblins been found out tonight. And these people, this has been broken. Come on, let's praise God tonight. Let's praise him for God.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I know the rest of it. We talk about peace of mind, your business, your talent, your vision, your victory. I don't want you too much longer. But this is a book. This is my life story called Bound to Lose, Destined to Win, 1995 for this. Okay, we have a few of them here. <coughs> this is a Cuba 2004 died, a brain aneurysm, and I went to heaven. It's a beautiful book called Heaven's Golden Vest. I'm going to make a movie out of it. This mm -hmm. one's being made into a movie even as we speak. In Hollywood, this one we're gonna make a movie out later. It's called Heaven's Golden Vessel. This one here is Freedom for Your Mind, Overcoming Adaroth Adar. Adaroth Adar is the spirit found in, in um, Joshua 16 and 5, where those things get around your head and squeeze. And it's also Isaiah 14, verse 29. It's called Fiery Flying Serpents. And we deal with it, help people because, yes, in the last 10 years, it's been five pastors committed suicide. Five. Five. It shouldn't be, y'all. These are men of God that have not allowed God to get this off of their heads. This one here is a danger of profanity. We just prayed for it. Tells you all the ins and outs of the enemy attacks, what to do, what not to do, and how to defeat him. Amen? Don't be like that lady on, on, on YouTube. He, her daughter, she has the Guinness Book of Record for cursing. And she thinks it's cute. It's not cute. It's demonic. Man, this one is for you have children who can't sleep at, at night by themselves and scared to go in their room. And you would you would have more children. You would really could have more children if if you didn't have a little child scared in the bed with you every night because y'all can't, you know, get busy doing anything make more. So all you grown folks you get that later on. <laughs> This is serious. Though. This is this is for you to help your children. This is one of my favorites. It's 300 pages called "Escaping the Nemo Cycle." It's all illustrated, all pictures and everything. This one, this one here, everything here is like it's 19.95. This one is 49 dollars. It's worth more than that, but I'm only letting it go for 49 dollars. These here are only 19. We only have uh, two of each of these we brought with us because it just is too many to pack. We want you all to buy them. We need this for our ministry. And uh, we'd love for you all to buy them tonight. It would be a blessing if you buy them. If you don't buy them, somebody will, but we'd like you to buy them, okay? So, praise God. Interesting. So, let's pray. We're going to close out now. And we also would like you all that like to um, plant a seed in this ministry, give an offering. We would love to have it. It would be a blessing because we travel all over the world, and this would definitely be a help to us. Amen? Amen. If you don't mind helping us out financially tonight, be a, 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 a great blessing for us that we can keep this thing moving. They may make more books and witness to more souls and see more people get delivered from the wimple spirit. Did that help you all tonight? This yes. teaching, yes. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Did it help you? So this is just you know a little bit of going on. So if you want to buy these books, I would be more than happy to sign them for you. And and thank God, John, for having us. Thank mm -hmm. God for us coming. And uh, we appreciate you all. And it's back into the hands of Pastor John here. And thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for, uh, for having us. Thank you. It's such a, wow, it's a blessing to be here. We, we, we leave from here. We go in South Carolina. Then we go into Atlanta. And we go in, uh, we're invited to come to Australia. We're going over there. Yeah. Australia to preach. Go preach the same thing. Same thing. Because the same thing bothering everybody. Everywhere you go. Africa, we've been there. Mm -hmm. South America, we've been there. New York, we've been there. Believe it or not, we went over to Hawaii to suffer in Hawaii for a while mm -hmm. and they had problems over there. So <laughs> I recommend you always go over there and chill out. If you gotta suffer, go suffer in Hawaii. You know? <laughs> <laughs> With your feet on the beach, you and your sweetie just enjoying yourself. We got all the sights and suffer good while you're over there. Mm -hmm. Amen. But seriously, we thank you. So let's pray. Father God, again, we bless you. We thank, thank you. God. You're so precious. And and just say this after me. This is good soil. This, this is, is good, good soil. soil. The devil, the devil. Yeah. or the avenger, or the avenger. Will, not will not steal what's been planted in me tonight. What's been planted in me tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. you all. Brother, quick